had a thing in the day, and I got all kinds of funny hats and stuff, so it must be uh, my birthday. And I just want to tell y'all to thank y'all for coming out for my birthday, thank y'all for coming out for the show, and thank y'all just for coming out. Twenty first birthday, Joy. Twenty first, like legal. Well, okay, hold on. I'm gonna work, Joy. All the guys from the locker room here at CWF Mid Atlantic got together and we got you a little something to beat your twenty first birthday and all. All shots. And, uh, I hate to interrupt you, but you know I do a better job than you do. Like I know, I didn't put any money in. That's why you got burned off! Stop that whistle See? Joey, the people in the back, all the wrestlers, and everybody who works in the concession stand, all that, they love you. Yeah! And these fans love you, I don't know why, but they do. And they all put their money together, and Bullets of Henderson is one of the most excellent trophy shots yeah, in the state. Indeed. And if you didn't get trophies or plaques or anything like that, uh, Bullets of Henderson. Yeah. He put together a special present for you. All the guys chipped in on it. But I wanted to be the guy to present it to you because, you know, you mean a lot to everybody here. Okay. And it's a glass etching. It's beautiful. It's got LED light. It lights up. Yeah. It's got your picture on it. It's even got gold plate in it. I couldn't believe that the people of Bullets and Henderson did such a great job. Yeah. So I want to be the guy to present it to you. Well, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Joey, you know, I really want you to have this present. You deserve it. You really do, but. Alert C W F is live in five, four, three, four, I three, 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 Three four 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 I Three, four, I, three, four, I, three, we four, are underway I, three, here four, at three, Joey four, Hogan's I, three, 21st four, birthday, I, and we are opening four, the show, I, three, four, mind you, with Matt Smith on commentary with yours truly, Andrew Everett. And let me tell you something, I can't wait to get this night started. It is the 21st birthday of Joey. We got to get him drunk. Right? Yeah, we got to get him drunk. Oh, absolutely. In the ring right now, we have two competitors, Roy Wilkins representing the All-Stars and Cozone representing the Glow Zone. And Wilkins with a arm drag. He has that arm locked tight. Cozone's going to have to find a way out of this. He's relatively close to the ropes. The fans finally getting behind him. See what he can do with the momentum. <laughs> Taking the arm himself. He goes on like a ball of fire taking that arm. A glow zone ball of fire. Glow zone. Glowing ball of fire. Oh my god, Roy. Stop. He's hurt. I had there it is at. again. Roy Let Wilkins me. might be hurt. Well, yeah. I mean, how long has he been in this business? We're we using the word business, buddy? Yes. How long have we been in this business? Enough to know that's a stun gun. That is a stun gun, and Cozone looks stunned. 
Does he look like a gun? Yeah. This is what, yep, right there. This is where Roy needs to arms. He has mastered the forearm to the back. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's mastered it, it has been Roy Wilkins. It's almost warlordish in glory. Watch, he's going to do it again. Watch, watch the impact. Watch. Oh, oh, oh no. A punch to the and gut. Those are, those are close fists, mine, Andrew. Oh, good God. What's his name? Is it what Code Zone or Glow Zone? Is it Glow Zone? It's LeBron Cozone. LeBron, all right. He cut his dreads oh, look, because oh, everyone what? was making fun of him. He said he looked like RG3. What is what, this? Look, what, what is, is the Gemini this? kid doing? What? His arm his ain't arm hurt. His hurt at all. What a fibber. I didn't see that one. You're a big phony. He's a phony, Matt Smith. Yes, he's a phony. He's a f finny fabby phony. Wow. And this is what Cozone needs right here. A he needs to get up. Cuts what he needs. Boom, oh. right there. He needs to drag him back in the ring, and he needs to go for that cover right there. One, two. It's not going to be enough. It's not enough. Roy. Despite the amount of effort. Roy Wilkins gives. He is incredibly accurate, incredibly spot on in that ring, as you see right there. Oh, believe me, so I know. So many years. I've had matches with Roy. Who hasn't? Yeah, that's point. Yeah, well, he's got one right now underneath his belt. Big shot to the gut, almost to the sternum. Irish whip to the corner. Oh, with Big force. Irish whip. Putting every single bit of that body weight behind that Irish whip. Man, let me tell you, hitting the turnbuckle like that, man, it's shock. It's just shock straight to the back of the head. So what kind of beverage you got there, sir? Great Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah. Oh, a vicious stomp directly to the heart. Might, as, might be as dangerous as a... Stan the Man Stasiak's heart punch. <laughs> Ox Baker's heart punch. That was illegal for a while there. And that should be illegal. It is. It's a close fist. Forearm directly to the jaw. Another one. Kozone's trying to get some Kozone, momentum going. He needs to get the crowd into it. Come on. Roy eats a boot. Puts him into that turnbuckle with authority. Runs in. Big forearm in the corner. Big bulldog. He needs to get on top of him. He needs to cover him. The fans getting behind him. They want they want Kozone to win this match. Who wants Roy to win? I don't. <laughs> Look, ring awareness of Roy Wilkins. Yep, right there. They're exactly what we was touching up on earlier. And what Kozone needs to do right now general. is he needs to stay on top of him. It's gonna he be hard don't to need do. to be taking jawbreakers if he wants to win this match. Yeah, jawbreakers do hurt. <laughs> Big knees to the gut. And if you're diabetic, they're even worse for you. Oh, my God. Forearm directly to the wonder. back of the neck. You got to wonder if Kozone's out here nervous, you know. He hasn't had many matches. Back elbow, a big back elbow. That definitely wasn't a clothesline. Another big back <laughs> Are we going to see a third? Oh, no. Roy cuts him off with a knee. Sends him off. Big Cozone. Roy. With a big, big drop kick. Sending Roy through the bottom rope. Roy's not going to be taking any more chances in this match. And by that, I mean he literally might walk to the back. Roy does not like pain. He has a very, very low pain tolerance. Oh, look at this. Oh, that was in the spine with the hat. What? What? He's such. Look. What, what a, a moron. Hey. You're a phony. Yeah, you hurt your arm slinging that helmet. Roy Wilkins still might lose this match on a count out. Coach Jim and I cheering on Roy. His biological son, by all means. Looks like the Roy has seemed to took and taken all that impact from falling outside of the ring straight to his back. 
A kick out by Cozone. He is not out of it yet. It might take a truck to take Cozone. <laughs> really? That was the it's going to take a truck? That was the worst call in, in commentary history. I'm sorry. I'm just happy that you're here. Oh, my God. Big clothesline. Oh, I'm happy that shiver. I'm here, too. Thank you. You know who I'm not happy here? Cozone? Roy Wilkins. He's such a douche. Yeah. I don't know if I can say that on commentary. Douche? Yeah. He's such a uh, bad guy. He is such a bad guy. Oh, oh what is this? Oh! It's the Cozoninator. <laughs> Apparently is that what it's called? Cozoninator. I, I like it. He I mean, snapped the glow stick. You don't mess with Cozone's glow. Oh, no. Not this. He's too old. Oh, and Roy come Wilkins on. Wilkins steals one with an assist from the coach. That stupid coach. Don't he, nobody like the coach. Look at him. He's so proud. He stole that one. He's so proud of his son, Roy Wilkins. Look at him. Uh -oh. Ready? He's got some pink spots. Hey. 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 Hey
And we are back here, and I am here with Matt Smith. How are you doing, Matt? I am doing great, but you know what? More importantly, how are you doing? I'm doing, I'm a little... Before little, we go any further, let me just say, happy birthday, Joey. Oh, thank you, but I'm still a little sad about the coach, but it's I got to get over that, but... You know, he's a phony. He's a big phony. Don't worry he about is. him. He's just trying to ruin anything that oh, isn't yeah. about him. Oh, yeah. And... Going on to now, we have now. Jesse. What's been going on here? What? I mean, what um, how did this match? Jesse Ripper, his name obviously was put in the box without my notice, and he has him a match tonight in his debut match. So you're telling me he took a strip of piece of paper, filled his name out, and look at the fire! He is gone. But just like that, Chase Dakota, he's been here. How many years now? He's been here six years. Former RGL champ. Yes. Yes, he is. And now TV champion. But you're telling me that Jesse filled out a piece oh, of paper? Oh, look at that. Stepping on the hair. So how do you, what's this box? What's this box um, thing? The box just recently came about at the last CWF show. Okay. Where Chase put everybody's names who's compatible for the TV title mm -hmm. in the box. And he just draws the name out of the box. And whoever he picks has to face him. And if they win, they become the new TV champion. So Chase is the one that puts the names in the boxes. Yes. Or in the box. Rather. But he draws them randomly. That's all I can. Now, it, is, is it everybody that's on the roster is in that box? I believe so, actually. So when he draws the name once, does he put it back in there? I do not know how that goes. I really. I thought you know these things. <laughs> they don't tell me nothing. But look right here. Uh, He's got Jesse in the Mexican surfboard, oh, but yeah. Jesse is not giving. Now, what's his name? Jesse what? Jesse Ripper. Jesse Ripper. Reminds me a lot of Jesse and the Rippers off Full House. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Jesse and the Rippers. That's a good one. Yeah. Have you had any drinks yet? No. No. Uh, how many are you going to drink tonight? 21? Uh, <laughs> I wish. You got to get 21 in you. <laughs> but look at this. This is why I don't like Chase right here. Eh. Former no. tag partner. We could have been champions. But Chase just cares more about it's himself than he does exactly. anybody else. Uh, Look at Jesse firing back with these big forearms and big punches. He has to create something to beat Chase. Oh, Send him off the ropes. Drop down. Drop down. Leap frog. Oh, big drop kick. Drop kick. Oh, my goodness. The and these fans kick. are going crazy. These fans. The fans are loving it. That, oh. Right there. Right rookie there. mistake, rookie mistake. It's Let me tell you why. Up. Because he should have stayed on top of Chase Dakota. He yeah. gave Chase Dakota the space. He gave him time to breathe. And therefore, Chase Dakota had time to think about what he was doing. Yeah. And just like that, he's back on top. Mm -hmm. And had a couple closed fists there, but the referee didn't recognize it. So, hey, You know what? This is wrestling. That's what wrestling's about. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Whoa. Now, what is he going for here? He's tree, setting him up on all the... The tree of woe. He's got him in the tree of woe. Is he... Is this... Yeah, this is another reason why I don't like Chase right here. Oh, is he going to do what I think he's going to... Oh, come on. Is he going to do it? Oh, he's getting the water. You know he's going to do it. It's so disgusting. He's... Uh, I mean... I'd like to take that water bottle and shove it right up as you... you you're supposed to cut me off right here. Ah, uh, yeah. But. <laughs> Look at it. This is, this is just... Oh, I mean, what kind of man oh. does this? What kind of what, man what? does this to another man? What is it? What is it proven? <laughs> exactly. Oh man, double feet to the chest. I'll tell you what. So is this an official he's beating up, or has uh, this? Uh, or his name a, was in the box. I guess he's active. I mean, man, you think that everything he's been giving him so far would have uh -oh. took down Jesse Ripper? Uh, yeah. By now. Yeah. But you never know. That is a 180-pound man coming down on your chest. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Big jawbreaker by Jesse. Jawbreaker. This is what he needs. He what has he got? What is this? Is it a cross face? Cross face. He's cross got the cross face the in cross on Chase face. Dakota. Okay. We could see a new TV champion. Well, Chase, tap out. Oh, no. No, don't let him get to the rope. Pull him back, kid. Pull him back. Pull him back, kid. Pull him back. Oh, There man. you go. Apply that pressure. Oh, man. He's on the ropes. You got to let him go. He's got to break that hold. If he wants to stay in this championship match, TV championship match. Come on, he's got to stay on top of him. Keep giving him blows. Keep hitting him. 
Keep hitting him. You gotta stay on you gotta top. Gotta get him off the ropes, though. You gotta get him off the ropes, though. I'm all. It's all about that championship. Do what you gotta do. The ref will do his job. And oh, look at that. Right to the eyes. Dirty man. He's just dirty. That's all oh, he is. He's dirty. up for that. That's, what do you call that? Screw him. He's dirty. Hey. I call it the Chase Dakota sucks. Is what I call it. Just like that. Five minutes, 21 seconds to win by pinfall, and still, Mid Atlantic Television Champion, Chase Dakota. Hey, clean this mess up. match of the semi-finals for the RGL tournament. Chet Sterling, they should have just gave him a bye to the finals. <laughs> but here we are wrestling an ogre and Aaron, whoa. He obviously pulled his hair. The fans saw it. So let me just go ahead and start off by saying, that's a big boy. And I don't trust him. I don't trust him one bit. He already cheated once. Chet, you need to watch it. I'm sorry? Who cheated? Mr. Biggs. Mr. Biggs. <laughs> Mr. Biggs, what did he do? Did you not see I'm him? sorry. Oh, there we go. Good waist lock. You know, we've been working on those. Working on grip strength. Now, is he going to take him down? Yeah, he is. He's just got to get those hips low, pop through. Yep, he did it. He got the hips low and he popped through. And then what you didn't see is Which his side left are you hand, on? His left hand grabbed Chet's waist. He grabbed the tights. He grabbed, he grabbed his the tights. pants. Yeah, I seen that too, right? right over. Yeah, bull crap. You see? He can't even focus because the people are too busy talking. Aaron's too busy hollering. It's just not even right. In traditional wrestling, it's silent. You watch. These guys, they don't know what they're doing. They're not watching. Chet's trying to show them stuff, but all we're seeing is Aaron cheating. Oh, good. Big strikes by Chet here. He's going to take the big man down. Oh, yeah. 
All right. So maybe and here's Aaron. A closed fist right to the stomach. Right. There's two. And you know what else? It hurts. Oh. Just slings him like he's nothing. By the ears. Yeah. <laughs> Chet, come on. I was thinking more arm armpit hair. Slung him by the armpit hair. It's still not legal. See? Me and Chet are on the same wavelengths right now. We know what's going on. I'm going to... He ain't gonna win the match out there jacking his jaws. What is, get him back, referee. Right there. Look, pulling the hair again. Bring him in you, and I, crush him. I told you I did not trust this Aaron Biggs. Bring him in and crush him. Good, 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 good. Good right there, good. Good right there, good. Boom, take that big man's size down. There you go. Good, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Good distraction right to the face. Now stay on top. You see now that once this big man's down, he can't get back to his feet. All right. Chet staying on the fence. He's smart. He needs to get him off the rope if he's smart. He's smart. Otherwise, he he's going to be disqualified. Seconds. He knows he has five seconds. He's smart. And that's legal right there? Yep. He's on the ropes. Christian did it. Who? Christian. Does he wrestle here? But it's still legal. Who, Christian Cage from TNA? Yep. <laughs> Look at that. You guys are dirty. He just, How do you sleep at night when y'all get your wins? Because it's a win. By hitting How someone in their fellas. Good win. Hitting someone in their fellas or pinning them with your feet on the ropes. Hey, look, look, his shirt's trying to take care. Look, uh-uh. He's cheating Well, that's a that rookie shirt. mistake right there. He shouldn't have wore that shirt out here. And that's why Chet pulled it over his head and showed him. It was a rookie mistake, and he's messing with men. I don't know what's why going on Why is he wearing here. that shirt anyway? He's got a singlet on, don't he? Oh! <laughs> like I said, that's a big boy. Chet was in the ropes. He was supposed to let him go. Good, 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 Chet. I taught him that drop kick. It's not as good as mine. But a tournament. Good. Uh, good. Dirty. Nope. Dirty. Come on, chat. Good job. Good job. You got to do what you got to do to keep this big man down. Because when he's on his back, he's still as tall as Chet is. On his back. <laughs> on his back. That's a big boy. Good job, Chet. Good job. Now he's on the rope right now. What's the ref doing? He ain't doing his job. He needs to get him off. Of Hey, he's still and he's on his eyes. Punch to the eyes. God. Dirty. Hey, that's what you got to do. Good job, chat. Using those ropes as an advantage. That's a lot of weight to be That's a big there, boy. <laughs> that's a big boy. <laughs> Good job, chat. Look at this. He is. Look, this shows you how good Chet is. Yeah, but how long has he had him on his back? He only got one pin out of this match so far. Sometimes that's. And all this you is need. what the big man needs. Good, 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 good. But he needs to hit it. Good now job, Chet. Now what? Uh, since you trained him and all that, what's he doing on the outside? Right he's now, supposed he's to be just, inside the ring to win the match. Do. He's doing what he's got to do. He has that blockbuster as a finish, and sometimes you just got to do what you got to do to get that move. And right now, he's stretching that neck across everything that it comes across. <laughs> it's a good strategy, I guess, if you're a cheater. Not at all. Sitting on the outside of the ring. Good. Okay, good. Okay. Not sure, but he I think that knee made contact bit. right into the jaw. Yep, he's been watching me. He knows. That you knee, do that that move? knee's a very powerful move. When did you start doing that? Oh, look. Chet's going to go for the hip toss out of the corner. He, no, he changed his mind. After he grinds that elbow right into his mouth. Now, what is <sighs> There's nothing illegal about it. He's in Mr. the turnbuckles. Well, he should get out of it. Look at that big shove. He's such a big guy. If he'd put all that power, that oh. kick right there, he could finish him right there. That, Look at that. 
All he needs to do is hit one thing and put him out. God darn God. <laughs> well, there was a move. Now Chet needs to get out, get away. God bless this it. This is absolutely bananas. He needs to get him back in there and cover him. He looked like he hurt Chet's neck with that one. So now they're on look, even playing fields. Look, now Chet is the one in look. the corner, and Mr. Aaron so is, this, is proceeding. Is this not fair? Is this not, not fair? No, it's still fair, right? Corner. It's still fair. You got to do what you got to do to get your opponent down and get that three count. And that's why he kicked him right there in the stomach. A legal move. Chet Sterling has done nothing but legal moves this whole entire time. And that's why he's picking him up like a newborn baby and slinging him outside a car window. <laughs> that's, that's not right. That's a sick human being. But that's what you got to do to get that one, two, three. You no. do what you got to do. That's what you said. Look. Back to the neck. Back to the neck. Good, good, good. What is this? Who is this referee? What is this hair? I don't know. But, but Big Aaron I, I don't is like definitely the officiating. He's doing because Chet hasn't done anything wrong. Chet needs to go for that pin if he wants. All I'm hearing is match. the ref count at Chet like he's doing something wrong. There was pinfall number two for Chet. Third one's the charm. Third one. Yep. Third one. He'll get a three count. Yep. That's how it works. Let's see. First one was a one count. That one's a two. That's how math works. I'll tell you what. He's going to have to show more fire than this. It's hard to show fire when your neck's getting stomped into the ground. <laughs> Let me look how big he is. Look at that elbow. You can't show fire when your <laughs> neck is broken. Yeah, you can. You can scream out loud in pain. That's showing a little bit of fire. You can get pumped up like a caged animal. If someone's trying to kill you, you're just going to sit there and take it? Well, Chet's trying to kill him, and here's the three count I was just talking about. One, two, God. You see... There this it is. This is why we tag a lot. Because I, I come in, I do what I got to do, and I let Chet get the win. I think, he, I think all he's doing now is frustrating the big man. Yep. He's back on his feet. He's exactly where he don't want him to be. Yeah, he needs to get him back down to the ground. Because Boom! Right there. Wow. Boom! Wow. I, I do not want to deal with any of that. Boom! Oh. Obvious close hands. Oh, and, but here comes an open one. Ooh. Ah, that one always hurts. Ah, I'm glad that I am just doing commentary tonight at the RGL third annual Joey Hogan birthday. Bash. Ooh, happy birthday, Joey! Gosh, happy. Birthday. Are we going to get 21 chops for I Joey's sure birthday? Hope not. These fans. They want one more time. They're animals. We're at least going to see it one more time, right? No, we're not. <laughs> where is he going? Chet, he's getting out of the ring where he needs to stay. If he needs to just go ahead and go to the back. Going to keep throwing. Oh, God. Aaron looked like he was tired in the corner. So Chet had to. Uh, all wrong. Uh, and he was There's three. Him in. He was just lowering him in. That cheater. Good job, He's Chad. going right back to the eyes. Well, if you can't see, you can't chop. <laughs> it's Good not job, the Chad. point. The point is that it's cheating. Stay away from the eyes. Whatever Open the fist. It takes. Good job, Chet. He's been working that neck this whole match. A headlock could win. On what planet? <laughs> oh, look, here it is right here. What is Chad thinking? I'm not going to outpower him. Oh, that is a, man. Gosh, Chet, you got to you gotta hey, get out. He's, he, he don't have no guts. He pooped him out. Uh, he crushed him right out of his body. Oh, good job, Chet. Good job. And that's where the agility is coming in with you Chet You know how Sterling. that spine just twisted right there on the mass from him moving. That's a dangerous move, that leg drop. I think Chet got out of the way. That was a knee drop. Oh, you're talking about the one before. 
His knee drop looked dangerous too. Everything Chet's doing is dangerous. Yeah, look at that. Stepping on the high balls. I think he's been working in the eyes more than he has the neck. Well, that's dirty. Be that as it may. This is not where he wants to be. That is not where you want to be. That's it's going to take more than that to take down oh, Mr. Jesus. Biggs. Oh, Jesus. Oh. This is what he needed. This is what he needed. The momentum's shifted back onto his side. If he can get up. Come on, Chet. Be smart, Chet. That's a big bull. You're wearing red right now, Chet. Be smart. Oh, boy. He's going to oh, crush boy. him again. He's going to crush oh, him. Oh, boy. Good job. Kicked him right in the knee. Good job. Good job. Good job. He's got him now. It's all you need now is that blockbuster. This is all we need now is that blockbuster. This is all we need now is that blockbuster. Let's go, Chet. Here he goes. Here he goes. He's getting on that top rope, and you know what happens. Oh! Oh! What? Obvious low blow there. What oh, yeah, I'm right. What is going on? What He's been working his on? neck the whole match. What is going He's on? He's hurting. Whoa, come on. What are you doing? Stay out of the match. Oh, come on. He's got the legs, ref. Dirty. Just like that, they still won. Good job. Good job. And there's your winner, Chet Sterling, going Good on job. to the finals of the RGL tournament. Good job, Chet Peter. Chet Sterling is your winner. Chet, all right, Chet, let's go, let's go. Hope you're able to sleep tonight. You see, I decided to come back out here because... So you may have another referee? <laughs> Woo! We got you! You just got the old boy. Because of people like you not showing me enough respect. You, thug, you don't, you you don't need no respect. I'm the Mid-Atlantic Television Champion. Yeah, you are. Hey, 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 hey. Tell it, Jake. You I am the former... RGL champion. Yeah, yeah cause you're a cheater. That's why you got television. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. That's a good one. You people Who need to you? show me respect. I know you. you're having fun tonight. Just I know it's somebody's birthday. Oh. That doesn't matter to me. <laughs> None of that matters to me. Hey. The only thing that hey. matters to me. Hey. look behind. Hey. You know what? I'm still a little upset from earlier, but that doesn't have nothing to do with what I'm about to do, and that is put you in another match defending that title once again. So let me please get a referee out here. You know what? what? I'm a fighting champion. Okay. I deserve respect. No, you don't. And I will give One more shot. Joey the respect for his birthday. So for my present to you, Joey, you get to pick the name. Oh, the next thing, Joey. Better make it good. Joey. Joey. Joey, this is the next pick on the Chase's title right now. Pick one out, Joey. You got a good one, I bet.
Is the kid justice? Was it Sexton Tyler? It's Yamaha. Oh, I heard what are you doing here? Are you just here to ruin my birthday? I heard there's a then? party at the building, and then I show up. And of course, doesn't want to do commentary on your shows, Joey. It's great. Yeah. But you know what else is Big great? Big party. Chase not doing that well. I mean, okay. Well, I mean, really, though, what are the odds? But you know what? I was thinking you about You looked this. for that name, didn't you? You peeked in the box and saw the name. No, I really didn't. you were didn't. like, oh, I'm going to pick Donnie Dollars because he'll beat Chase up for making me sad. You know, next Saturday at Ultimate Survivor, you have no place to run. You have no place to hide. You got to go against that man. Really? Donnie Dollars. Am I hiding? mad at you ever since what you did at Madness in Any Direction when you killed Fatback Enterprise. I'm sitting out here out in the open in front of Donnie Dollars, in fact, and Donnie Dollars. And I'm surprised he hasn't come over here and smacked you right about now. He needs to focus, obviously. He has a match, so you put him in. Oh, well. And he could be the new TV champion by the end of this. The irony of you actually being in charge and then you act, happen to draw his name is not lost. Oh, well, you think I drew him on purpose, Nick? Is that what you were saying? I mean, if you were trying to just punish Chase, probably. Donnie's a big, strong freak. You know, I won't deny that. You know as well as I do that these names are drawn unanimously. I'm not going to win this war of beating Donnie in a fist fight. I'm just smarter than Donnie. I've carried the team that Donnie claims he uh, loves and misses so much. You carried the team, but let me ask you, Nick, who was always bailing you out of trouble whenever you were getting triple teamed? By the way, Donnie being a tad predictable. Donnie. Donnie. Being a tad predictable right now. Chase having a great game plan. That's what he gets. And like I said, this man. You should is, distract him. This man is mad at you. You have no, over the past couple of months. I'm not in the ring, Jack. You should focus on your match. Okay, but like Joey, I, like Joey. I was saying, no, let me finish. We're not wrestling until next let, week. Let, if he let, comes let over here. Finish. Let me finish. For Go the ahead. past couple months, ever since Madness in Any Direction, you have added fuel to the fire to make this man even angrier than what he was. And this coming up Saturday at Ultimate Survivor, you have no place to run, and he's going to get his hands on you one way or another. Angrier man. than he was? What did he have to be angry about? He had everything he wanted. I carried the you team for more. You crushed chair over his back. I carried the team for more than a year, and then when I left, they just replaced me with somebody else. As easy as I got there. Oh, and, and then back. Donnie got to be Donnie got to be in charge. Donnie got to feel good about himself, like oh. he is right now, and he's got nice move by Chase actually. If you didn't know, actually, Donnie's uh, already has an injury on his forehead from leaping out of the ring and his hand landing on concrete. He had to get a fair amount of stitches, and Chase is smart to uh, work that angle. It's not like you can't get any less brain damage. But you know, I'm gonna go ahead and hit on this real quick, but Donnie has a monster's team backing him up. Hit on it. Oh, Joey, Joey, Joey. You look at him, he's got Mark James, Matty De Niro, who you also hit, who's also mad at you. And all you got is Jason Miller? Joey, my, no, Joey, my team looks, makes the Avengers look like Key Hall. I'll believe that when I see it. You'll see it in seven days. Why not, yeah. Chase Dakota obviously smarter than this uh, rookie official here. But you know what? I will give credit to Chase Dakota. He climbed a long, he climbed a long ladder, and he deserved this TV title. I mean, I will give credit where credit is due. Yeah. I'm, I'm not biased, Nick. Chase's Chase's best work is when he started when he stopped caring about what everybody thought of him. Well, you he mean stopped, he stopped worrying about trying to fit in so many clicks, and Chase started being himself. Unlike you, he stabbed a lot of people in the back. So who? Y'all, who did he stab in the back? His teammates left him. He got a, he got an opportunity for a singles title, and he took it and won. Yeah. 
Not to mention your blatant interference. Hard shot straight on top your of Donnie's goal. Your blatant interference during that match, but. Now, I know you've uh, only, I know this commissioner thing's new to you, so you're not up and up on all the rules. But what happens if Donnie Dollars gets a concussion in this match? Chase has landed several hard shots to his skull. If Donnie gets a concussion, do you think he can pass a concussion test to be in the match next week? No. I don't think anything is going to keep him from getting inside that cage with you, Nick. Well, how irresponsible of our company. Hard shot, another straight shot. Straight to Johnny's. Uh, we got the five minutes remain call, and Chase trying to take the air out of Donnie. Smart move again. But he's cheap. Never denied Chase is smart. I just think he annoys me. I don't want to talk to him more than five minutes. Who, Chase or Donnie? Both. <laughs> If I was you right now, I wouldn't want to be in the same room as Chase Donnie. annoys me. Donnie's just irrational. Donnie couldn't see things the way they were. The best we were was when we didn't care what anybody thought. And then because somebody pushed us to have, uh, have a heart, somebody pushed us to do things the right way. And, you know. Oh, what? You don't believe in doing stuff the right way? Look, we got the uh, team of Fatback Enterprises. See ya. You were just greedy. You wanted the power out of yourself. You wanted the spotlight out of you. Therefore, you want to take out the guys who cared about you, who treated you like a brother. Donnie pushed, the ca pushed Chase Scott off with that weak leg. Those, mm. guys, those guys cared about you. That's, that's music. Yeah, that's music to my ears, actually. Those guys cared about you and treated you like a brother. No, they didn't. And look at what you did to them. They treated you. Were they like my friends? Sure. But on a professional level, I can, when me and Donnie were tag team champions, I carried that team. Maddie came and went whenever we want. Corey couldn't stay off the shelf. I, I was really the foundation of that team, and the, uh, there's zero gratitude for it. And you look at it, Brad Stutz put all his hard work into making y'all look. You say I'm a bad guy. You say uh, there's something wrong with me for taking shortcuts. Chase is taking him right now, and he's on top. He's been on top for a few minutes. Closed fist punch official to Chase Dakota. Oh. That's the thing. You think, look, look at the, check out the size. Donnie, obviously bigger and stronger than Chase. Chase doesn't have to beat Donnie. Chase has to survive. That's what this all is about. Yeah. That's what Donnie doesn't realize yet. Oh man, Donnie with a haymaker. Ha mm. Haymaker. Let's go, Donnie. Smart move. I would have rolled out. Go, Ca caught my breath. Chase staggering, probably a little loopy. Not bad. Um, how do how do you how do I not love this, Joey? I thank you for inviting me to your birthday, bud. Appreciate that. I invited you here, but I never said you could be here with me. But you just sort of made yourself comfortable and at home. I was there first. I was here first, oh, actually. Well, true, but you know I could just tell you to go backstage anytime I wanted. But Joey, just give me give me a chance, man. I'm am I doing anything wrong? I'm out here. Not yet. I'm out here stating facts. And spreading truth that maybe you don't like. The truth that you're a bad person. You don't like. You're a, you're kind of a favorite in this company. Everybody loves you. And so look, you everybody you loved you, guys. Nick. Everybody. So you, you probably believe the hype. You probably believe the propaganda. But you know, someday your work will pay off. Faith. They had potential in you. They believed in you until okay. you did what you did. Chase, good move. Come on, leave. Too slow. Oh, kicks him upside the head. And I will agree with you on one thing, Nick, and that's not something you'll find. You think find Donnie can handle loss to Chase? Donnie well, to now, throw this guy That's what I was going to say. I'll agree with you on one thing. What? Uh, Nick, what? What? Nick. Nick, what are you doing? Nick. Nick. I'm not doing anything, Joey. Nick. I'm not doing anything. So shut up, Joey. I'm sorry, I do not know what's going on. And Nick Richards has just went crazy, I think. 
Nick Richards just, just went crazy. Smart. Smart move. Nick, what was that all about? Just tell me what was that all about. I'm doing Donnie can you, a favor. Can you not wait seven days? Do you want to get I'm not your doing head Donnie. caved in now? Joey, Joey, if you, you come near your, me. Do you want to get your head caved in right now? You can't wait seven days? Ten seconds. Chase is a, one of the smartest TV champions I've seen. Five. You want to know what? Chase just survived Donnie. There's the bell. Call it, Joey. Yeah. Call it. What happened? Uh, Chase. Chase Dakota survives Chase. Donnie Dollars by count out and retains the Whoop. TV championship. Whoop. <laughs> he won it, Joey. <laughs> Here's your box. I'm out. I'm out. Peace. Thank you. I want to remind everybody we are one week away from Ultimate Survivor 2013.
semi-finals of the RGL tournament. We have from Dominica, Manny Garcia versus Chris Show Smoothly. And you also got, you also have the best that CWF has to offer on commentary right now, Matt Smith. And me, Trevor Lee. Matt Smith. So we seem to have uh, heated uh, a little situation going on here as Manny Garcia says a few choice words to Chris Lee's mama. So give me a little background on uh, Manny Garcia. Manny Garcia is from Dominica. Oh, okay. So, he that's, uh, so that's what he was waving around? The Dominica flag. The Dominica toilet paper. And he's just a big, just a big mean guy. It seems like I personally like his style. Uh, Chris Lee, uh, he's wearing some uh, bright pink. I've seen him before. Um, does he give like a uh, weather reports? He does on WXI 12. But Manny Garcia is my favorite right now in this match. Yeah, he, he's a big guy. He looks but like of course, whoever like wins this match will have to face Chet Sterling in the finals of the RGL tournament. So that's why I'm out here tonight to see and to scout as to what me and Chad are going to have to work on in the next coming weeks. So if Chris Lee was to get pinned in this match, then Manny Garcia would go into the finals as the RGL champion. It seems that way. Matt Smith, it seems that way. And with how Manny's looking and that bald head, anything can happen. He's got yeah. more hair on his back than he does his head. And that's a man. <laughs> but look at this. Chris, on the other hand, wearing bright pink zebra pants. Not so, man. Hey, the fans love it. Not so, man. Man or not, the fans love it. Manny Garcia, I, I don't know how long he's been doing this. or I mean, I barely even know where he's from. I mean, he's a... Uh, he's, uh, Wasn't he wrestling in the Dominica? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure he wrestled, he was wrestling wrestling there, uh, for food. In the slums. He, yeah, in the slums. I heard he wrestled for uh, schools, you know, to get uh, books for his students and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Because, yeah, uh, see, what he says is here in America, they just get the stuff. But over there, he had to fight for the tools. Yeah. You know, I'm starting to like this guy. Manny Garcia? Yeah. Yeah. I just mean, wish he, he could quit. be a jerk sometimes. Yeah. I mean, Slinging that flag me. around. Well, I don't need to see that. Well, see, as long as he don't call me a piece of crap, I mean, it's all right. I think that's the only English he does know, though. Speaking of piece of crap, Chris Lee's treating him just like a piece of crap. Thought you were going to call Chris Lee a piece of crap. No, I ain't going to call Chris Lee a piece of crap. He gives me my weather reports. And he's the current RGL champion. Exactly. Not and he's showing why right there. Look at that. Big, strong Look at that strength. I'm going to tell you what, if I went to shoulder tackle that big old Garcia, I would have went down. Even if I was hitting off the ropes. Yeah, because look at that. He's a, a big, big man. Boy. Look at that. That bald head makes him just seem even more dangerous. And there it is. Chris Lee being smart. He says, maybe my shoulder won't work, but my torso and my feet will. And Manny Garcia was not expecting that. Took him right off his feet, pulled, and now look at him. Pulled his hair. I might have saw a beard. Beard and back hair got pulled. Dominica. And look at Chris Lee making a mockery out of what? The Dominica. I'm not supposed to be wearing hats in wrestling matches. Manny Garcia 
spitting him with disgust. What disrespect. That's the man's hat. Big forearm. Ow. He's just toying with him. He just looks like he's toying with him. Manny Garcia seems to be in a little bit of a situation right now, choking him on self out. Why well, wouldn't that suck? You lose Chris your Lee grabbing the nipple. Now, what? Now Where? Show off. I didn't see it. Oh, he grabbed that nipple so he could grab that other arm I didn't to see it. further make Manny Garcia choke himself out. I seen him reaching for the other arm, and now he's got the other arm, and he's he's got the pressure applied, but Manny Garcia and getting the foot on the rope and doing what he does best, jacking his jaws. See, Manny Garcia insisting that he touched his nipples, and that is just not something you do well, in maybe the Maybe you should shave that hair off, you know? Sometimes that hair gets pulled, and, you know? You just he shaved someone. He shaved it before the match. Oh, did he? God. <laughs> Woo wee. <laughs> that stuff grew fast. That, yeah, what a man. Exactly. What a man. In Dominica. But don't forget, we Chris are Lee. on the RGL show, and the man right now is Chris Lee because he has the RGL championship. He is. But that could change if Manny Garcia can get up out of this situation that he's in. Manny Garcia says he doesn't give up off this arm bar. He could could pull that shoulder out of socket, Chris Lee. You said we were speaking of earlier, the man. Uh, Rick Flair. You could, say, woo! you could say he's the man of this match, making him the champion. When it comes to the tournament, we know Chet Sterling is the man. Well, what do you got to... Oh, big dragon screw. God, he just chat saying he can't do knee. it, but he just did. His knee it could be completely ripped out of socket. And that is a, I'm going to say this, that is a smart tactic. The taller you are, the more easy it is to injure, to have a knee injury or an ankle injury. It's just a lot of size on there. Uh, and by him slinging that ankle around and that knee. Give me some permanent damage here to Manny Garcia. He's right there. That's it, right smart. there. Smart. That is smart. You got yourself in a situation, you need to grab that rope. If you're a crybaby. Chris may be talking to the referee a little bit more than he should be. Should be worrying about this match and his opponent from Dominica, Manny Garcia. See? Mistakes. Manny Garcia opened himself up too much. Chris Lee got back on that advantage because he is the RGL champion. Chris firing back. Big John, John Cena shoulder tackle. Shades Could, of can shades. We see the you can't see me fist drop. Nope, just a kick out. That's what Manny Garcia needs right there. Yep. If he wants to win this match. Good job, Manny. You see, you put him where he needed to put him. But Chris Lee, he knows. Chris Lee also knows what it takes to keep that title around your waist. Keep those legs. I mean, I guess the big man can't stand up. I guess that's how it works. I'd put him in a submission right now. That's what I would do. Exactly. Put him in a submission. Don't let go of it. Put him in a submission. Apparently that fan heard I would, that. I would drag him out to the middle of the ring, and I would put him in a submission. A I would make him tap out. I would put him in the locksmith. Oh, I thought it was a matlock. It's either or. Another big DDT. This knee could be obliterated at any second. Manny Garcia does have former knee problems. Maybe Chris Lee known that from research. Oh, Manny Garcia charges his butt. Just gets low bridge out the ring. Pretty pathetic attempt, if you say so myself. I wouldn't have fell for that. I think his, uh, I think his knee was hurting. He yeah. kind of tripped over the ropes there. I guess you could say that. Chris Lee going for a big dive. Nope. But Manny Garcia just mans him up. Just picks him up like a newborn baby and slings him into right a pole. Into that pole. You see, that back does not go well against steel, as Jay Hart would say. That's a human anatomy. How much more can it take? There you go. That's what JR would say. His spine could be broken. <laughs> oh. This is a human being. Big God. <laughs> 
Randolph's talking to us. I have no idea what he's saying. Bless it. Uh, Dominican tactics right there as he told the crowd to watch out and then proceeded to throw them back in the ring. He knows nothing amuses me more than when the fans have to get up just to get right but back. But you know around. back. Is it Dominica? Uh, is that the name of the that, place? That's where I that's learned That's what it. I heard you call it on the last show. So. Dominica. That's where Dominica? it is. Okay. Well, over in Dominica, I also heard it's like uh, bare-fisted fighting wrestling. Uh, whenever they get thrown out of the so-called ring, which is a circle of people, they would get beat down, you know, get some teeth knocked out. They'd so bite their tongue, whatever. maybe Manny Garcia was trying to throw them into the crowd of people for an advantage. Yes, but then he realized, hey, these fans like Chris Lee. Let me just throw them back into the ring. That is true. The fans seem to like Chris Lee because he is the RGL champion. He is the WXI 12 news person. He's 102 jams. What else is he? Come on. He's pink tights. He's a zebra. And not in a racial way. By his gear. Big whip to the corner, follows it up with a close on right to the mouth. You know, if you want to beat someone, you put that bicep right in their mouth. And that's exactly what Manny Garcia is doing right now. But nope. here comes Chris Caught Lee. That kick, he's smarter. Oh! I'm going to tell you what, I have not seen anybody take it to Chris Lee like this. Trust me, I've been watching the shows. Manny Garcia, he is a dominant male. He could be a... He could go to the finals this of this RGL tournament, but that would be the farthest he would go as he would meet Chet Sterling. Come on, that's a big man. Look. But Chet Sterling's a man himself. Chet Not Sterling is probably half the weight of Chris Lee. But he's got it in the chops. How many times has Chris Lee beat Chet Sterling? That's not the point. That's a lot of times. How many times has Manny Garcia beat Chet Sterling? I don't know. Never. One, one if he wins this match, right? Nope. Doesn't work that way. This isn't college football. But you can't count out Chris Lee. The heart and determination of this kid. I guess. I'm trying. I mean, you can believe in him, but Chet's the all-time guy in this match. Manny Garcia, he needs to get him up off the ropes. He's doing what he has to do. We talked about this Just earlier. Just like I match, said right? earlier. This is cheating. This is not cheating. I don't like cheaters. Big European. Come on, Chris cut. Lee. I don't Six like cheaters. Six to the back of the head. That is actually now known as the Dominica uppercut. The Dominican uh, Dominica. Bruiser. The Dominican bruise. Dominica. Ka. Dominica bruiser. There you go. What's the deal with you the You know, beard? I don't know a lot about these Dominicas, but they seem like just an evil race. Yeah, slinging that flag around, shoving his country down our throat. And now, I wasn't America. saying so much about that. We're in America. He just seems like he's a very he, mean person. Look he at said him. he don't like corn dogs. I don't like them anymore. I remember now, when, did he, say when he, he was at like the corn. fair, which you can check out on CWF247.com or YouTube. YouTube backslash CWF Mid Atlantic. There you go. Subscribe and you can see all the videos of Manny saying he doesn't like corn dogs. And Chris Lee countering with a back two. But Could he's only getting a two. Right there. Chris Lee oh. ducks the line. What? Whoa, almost oh, slipped. He's slipping. And Manny catches him Manny. once again. Manning and it. And then puts him right back on his head. That deserves a salsa. One, two. Chris looks really nervous in You're this match. He's going to have to do a little really bit more nervous. than that. Chris is going to have to shake off that nervousness. To put down wants, the RGL champion. If he wants to keep this. <laughs> you know, I'm a former Chris, RGL champion. You know, I am too. I never lost the thing. I didn't either. Best commentator in the seat right here. Ever. Ever in CWF. Big and here's Joey. Happy, happy birthday, Joey. Joey Hogan seems to have wiped the cream off his face to check out this main event matchup. And Joey, uh, who's your pick? Chris, going back to the leg that he was working earlier. Chris, Joey has Chris Lee in this match. Big boot to the face. If he does more of those, it could be. Big, big elbow, elbow to the face. Okay. He's going to add to his something big here. Boom. Oh. He catches Man, he him just keeps again. Catching him. How many times can you go back to that? Hey. How many times can you try to do that until you realize you got to do something else to take down this big man? Well, 
it's it's hard work there in Dominica. People die in the streets in Dominica. This is exactly somebody what, has to pick them up and get them out of the way. This is and that is Manny Garcia. This is what he looked like when he hugged his students. So he was so happy. This is what it looked like on graduation day. You know, that is why he was kicked out of Dominica for hugging the students That's too exactly hard. That's exactly what I heard, too. Heard he I heard he broke about three ribs in one kid. One time. And then they told him, you know what? His spine was zigzag. We're going to let this one stage one. We're going to let this one slide. But the next kid, we're going to have to let you go. And all I know is he's here now. Wrestling for CWF Mid Atlantic in the semifinals for the RGL. Chris popped title. the ears and now getting in some forearms. Only, oh. only to get slammed down on his back. And you that know, could be it right just, there. When he can just grab you like that and He's slam you down, there's there's not a lot you can do. You got to think of how much that was doing on the anatomy. The bear hug, and then to just drive him to the mat and throw all the air out of his body. Yeah. There's and no then way get to on breathe. top of him. For him how much to be able this guy to kick out? out? He's got to be a champion. He's got to be about what? 250, 260? And have 260 pounds lay on top of you and to kick out of that. Never settle for cabbage when you can have lettuce. I like lettuce. I like lettuce. Big old salsa dance. Trip back to the knee he was working earlier. Smart. And it looks like Chris rugs. is trying to go for the ankle lock. I don't. On the ropes. Got to get off. Boom. Ooh, big clothesline. That could be it. Next. Did I see a tooth? I seen a. God, he's got to do the news without a front tooth. That's just bananas. B A N A N A N A N A S. Bananas. Kick out by the champion. He That's is not fight. gonna let his title go from a clothesline and not a lariat. Let me just say, Chris Lee is taking one hell of a beating. Boom! Big suplex. Legs kicking. He's pulling him back up. And he's still kicking out all this. Is he gonna go for the trifecta? Oh. It could be, could be his three friends. The My three friend. amigos? I didn't say that. Wait, is he oh, from Brazil? Big slip behind Chris Lee. <laughs> Looks to be still in danger. Moves out the way. Kick Big to kick the stomach. To the Boom! That could be it. Suffering a broken jaw before, I know that a kick like that is not a good kick to take. Jesus. Now both men are down. How did you eat? I didn't. <laughs> so I'm such an angry man. You didn't eat. Chris Lee back to his feet. Manny Garcia back to his feet. Chris Lee charges. Big drop kick into the right, face. Right in the mouth. This could right be. In the mouth. This could be the one. He could be knocked out. One, two, no. For Dominica, Manny Garcia kicks out. Come on, man. You gotta get up. Chris needs to stay on top of him. You don't need to. It's get hard him. to stay on top when that back is quite broken. I don't think his back's broken. He wouldn't be standing. Swift kicks to the chest. That manly, hairy Could chest. Have a little bit more effort into it. Big kick to the back of the head again. Could this one knock him out for the three? It could be. That was a big kick. Oh, this is. I'm going to go ahead and say this is a rookie mistake. He should have went for that cover. After that big kick, you never know. He could have won. On, kid. He is the champ. Should have went for that cover. But his finisher is air traffic control. What is this? Air traffic control. Oh, but man, Garcia's smart. Going to those ropes. He should have pinned him off. Do the same thing to Chet earlier in the night. That's should have pinned him off the kick. That's, that's why, all I got to say. That's why what happened to Aaron happened to Aaron. And he's going to have to get himself. He's going to have to get back in it. Chris Lee. Scott big Boko German still. Big release German. And that is 250 pounds landing on the back of his neck. That could be broken. Could be. He's he landed nasty. Going for a line. Ducks. Nope. Big. Oh. Big Dominican slam. Big Dominican slam. That could be it. La Cucaracha slam. He's if not you Mexican. Say so, is one, he? two. Oh, where's Dominica? I don't know. I failed. It's history. an island off of a. Uh, uh, is it American island? I think it's England or something. England. Wow. I Korea. like. Korea. I like the English. I Korea. Like it's an island off William of Korea. William Regal, Fit Finley. No, it's an island off of Korea. Oh, they suck. Yeah. Not is it south. Cuban? Wait. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I just like them. Big. And I like Chris Lee too. Another big. Come kick on, to the kid. Head. Manny, smart by rolling out and getting out of the ring. 
they're both both of them are showing what they want how bad they want this RGL championship just imagine if Chet put in half the effort Chet has all the effort he's in the finals I don't know huh. we'll see partner we'll see <laughs> If I have to, I'll put in the effort for chat. Are we tag partners now? I'll let you do everything. I'll t you tag me in, I'll go for the pin. That's what I do with chat. That's what we're partners, right? But uh, I just don't think you could hang, Matt. You gotta believe. It's been a while. <laughs> you got, uh, yeah. You gotta believe Back that took a lot one, to drag him in two. and go for the cover. Big kick out by See, Manny. If Manny wouldn't have rolled out, that last kick would have been it. Say so what? That last kick would have been it if Manny Garcia did not roll out the ring. You see a master of strikes myself with such <laughs> moves as my knee, also known as the kill shot, if you've heard of it. I know you've been gone for a while. Big blows being traded between Manny Garcia and Chris Lee. Manny Garcia seems to have got the advantage. Boom! Definitely big, big uppercut. uppercut. Big but one. here comes Chris Lee, big forearm! That could be a knockout. But no, Manny Garcia fight back in a big old forearm from him. I would stop How many more the are ropes. They? Exactly. But they are, again, they are showing what they will do, what they will go through just for an RDL. Back to that leg. He's been working it all night. This could be the very end. Very smart, very smart. This is a submission he's been trying to lock in the whole match. And he's finally got it locked Manny in. And he Garcia doesn't need to let him get to those ropes. ropes. Struggling is Manny Garcia. He needs to pull him back out and he needs... Manny Garcia grabs the ropes with the fingertips. <laughs> and this match is going to keep going. That burp was sponsored by Red Oak. <laughs> nice. Chris Lee needs to bring him back out to the middle of the ring. And he Still needs to, holding that knee. He needs to sink in. Robbie that. Walsh did not see the eyes get poked by Manny Garcia. So dirty. So dirty. Don't tell me he's going to win. Manny Garcia with could a poke be looking to the for eye. that flag. Oh! He the referee the ref. is down. The, the ref is coughing is up down. blood. Anything could happen. I could go out there now if I wanted to, but no, anything you could happen. Stay right here. Look, we got a I'm going to stay here and I'm going to let this, this match. match in. And this is what he needed right here. Figure four. He's got a lock in. Figure four. Woo! 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 <laughs> Referee is still down. Joey Hogan, go in there. Go in there and catch the submission. Come on, go Joey. Ahead, Joey. Yeah. Joey, the referee's down. Something needs to happen. Get Manny another Garcia ref out here, Joey. Down. What's going on? Manny Garcia's tapping. Manny He's Garcia's tapping. tapping. But the ref is down. Chris Lee. He's just now realizing that the ref is out. Joey says he can't do anything. He has, still has pie filling in his eyes. He can't see. Chris Lee seems to be taking advantage of Robbie. What? Tell him to get up. Get up. Well, he's got to get him up if he wants out. to get that submission or the pinfall. He's got to get him up. He's got to. He's get already up, won Robbie, this match. Get up. The, ref, the ref was oh, knocked out. Oh, God. Manny Garcia has the flag. Listen. See, I liked him until this. Boom. I liked him until the that. The point of the flag right into the spine. So and here dirty. it is. Don't tell me he's going to win. Boom. Don't tell me and he's going to win. There it is, ladies that. and gentlemen. One. One. Oh, come on. Kick Two. out, Chris. You got to kick out. Three. And he kicks out. Chris Lee seemed to kick out, and it was all because Manny Garcia. And you thought it was over. Look at that fire. Manny Garcia seems to be hollering at the referee. You don't need to touch him again. He can definitely disqualify you. He's a piece of crap. He's a piece of crap. Is that what he calls people? Pieces, pieces of, of crap. crap. Chris Lee, Too quick. the big schoolboy. Ah. One, two, and he Chris got Lee him so quick. Chris Lee is going to the finals to face Chet Sterling for the RGL championship. Chris Lee is so quick. He beat him just like that, all because of one mistake. One mistake. Manny Garcia forgot that his opponent was laying behind him, and now he is out of the RGL tournament. Pieces of crap. Chris Lee, he better celebrate as long as he can.
because he doesn't have much longer with that belt. And I guarantee you that. But that ain't what matters. What is this? Chad Starley just out here showing Did you the tell him to do this? <laughs> Chris, what kind of oh, laugh Chris. is that? Oh, get what back on top. Oh, Chris. Chris, Chris Lee still. said, I'm not having it. I'm not going to fight this long for my title. Just for you to come out here jumping from behind. Chet, you need to get back on top of him. Please. I had to give him a little bit of a boost right there. What are you doing? Throwing the ball there. Good job, Chad. Good just job, when Chad. I was starting to like you. Hey. And you just gonna sit there and help Chad. What if that job, Chad? I thought your boy could do it on his own. My God. Despite all the shenanigans that just happened, Chris Lee is in fact still the RGL champion and will go to the semifinals to face off with Chet Sterling. We'll get him, Chet. We'll get him. We'll get him. We'll get him. We'll get him. I'm going to kill hey, Trevor. Get him. Come on, I'm going to kill Chet. All right, Chris Lee's going to give you a shot at Chet Sterling in the 2014 RGL tournament finals. I want everybody.